Hello there, I'm meteorologist Patty Derrick. You're back in your Weather on the Ones Forecast Center. Now a look at your boat and beach forecast. Satellite and radar view. Well, we've seen showers and storms on Friday. Today we will also see showers and storms for the afternoon. We already have showers and storms just along our coast and that is causing a little bit of rough surf. The UV index for the remainder of our Saturday is in that extreme level. Even with clouds overhead, that higher sun angle means that if you're particularly prone to sunburn, you will start to experience skin damage in as little as 10 minutes. So make sure that you have that sunscreen on and you're taking protective measures. Next few days, for the Crystal Coast. Cloudy skies and mid 80s for Sunday, mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday with just a little more sunshine each day and still a chance for showers and storms. Southeastern beach forecast also decreasing clouds over the next few days. Temperatures in the mid 80s and for Myrtle Beach we will see decreasing clouds, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 80s. Bolton Beach forecast for the south facing beaches of Ocean Isle to Caswell for the remainder of your day. In the surf zone, we have southwesterly winds of 10 to 20 with 3 to 4 foot waves. That water in the lower 80s. Offshore, we will continue to see wave heights of 3 to 5 feet with a 6 second dominant wave period. That lightning risk is at a low risk, but we do have a moderate risk for water spouts. Now, as we look off our southeastern facing beaches here of Curie to Wrightsville, in the surf zone for the remainder of the day, southwesterly winds at 15 to 20 with a 2 to 3 foot surf, water in the lower 80s. Waves offshore will be 3 to 4 feet with a 6 second dominant wave period, a low lightning risk, but a moderate water spout risk. How about the Crystal Coast? Well, for the remainder of the day in the surf, facing beaches and that's due again to southerly winds and that water pile up for the south facing beaches. Now for North Topsail Beach, it's a low threat for the remainder of the day, but again with those southerly winds, more of a buildup for the Crystal Coast, Emerald Isle to Cape Lookout and for the Outer Banks, a moderate rip current threat. It's also higher around jetties and piers, so listen to the lifeguard. After showers and storms possible today, we will see cloudy skies tonight and early storm possible mid 70s for those overnight lows and then for Sunday, cloudy skies with scattered showers and storms, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for those highs. We'll get into the work week with your seven day forecast in less than 10 minutes.